when I look at other people, other parents raise their kids, teach their kids, taking care of their kids, I feel very tired. I, it's a lot of work. It's very hard work. Many times that I think about that, I think I don't want to have kids if I have to raise the kids like that. Because many of them teach their kids a lot, all the time. Don't do that. Don't do this. This is not good. This is not good. This is good. You have to do this. You have to do that. All the time. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah. Come and do like this. Do like this. So this is what many parents very busy with their children like this. But what happened is most of the kids, even they taught, their parents taught them a lot. But many of them have a lot of problems. Many of them suffer a lot. When I look at it, I don't want to have kids if I have to do like that. And when I have kids, I think about how can we raise kids, our kids in different way from normal way. Because the normal way is so tired, it's very hard. It's a big burden. How can we make raise our kids in the way that is not a burden? So we talk a lot about this in our families. We talk a lot, we discuss a lot, and at the end, I feel like I like to experiment the technique, teaching with no teaching. It's interesting to think about it because when I observe many people, when they taught their kid, don't lie. But they always lie to their kids. At the end, their kids lie a lot. This is the way that many people did. Don't do that. Don't do this. But parents did. So it never helped. That's why they keep yelling, teaching, punishing a lot. But nothing changed. Everything will go when develop in the way that we don't want it to be. So from my experience, we think about Every kid, they have a lot of energy to learn all the time. They are craving for learning all the time. So they like to do that. They like to grab that, grab this, touch that, touch this. Ask that question, ask this question. That's the way the kids, they want to know, they really want to learn. But many parents think their problem, they have a problem. They are very annoying. So many parents don't understand this. They want kids to be like a pet, like a dog and cat, sit quiet and respond when they need attention. Most of parents think like that. But that's not the nature of the children, of the kids. So what we did is we observed it. The kids want to learn already. Why we need to teach them? So let them learn, well, let them play, let them do what they like to do. So if they're interested in anything, that means they want to know about that thing, that thing. So we need to let them do. Our role is to support them. Support them. What do they need to do what they want? Just support them. So the kids from uh, two years, three years, four years, we just let them play, let them do whatever they want. And we just support them, support the material that they need. So that's very easy. Just let them play, have the area for them, let them play, just listen to them, what do they need? Try to help them. Because the, the kid in this age, what they need is happiness and freedom. 
That's the way. That's the first thing they need to learn. Happiness and freedom. They need to learn that. Because that is the good food for their brain. Good food for their imagination. They develop their imagination. They want to do that. They want to draw. They want to do sculpture. They want to do anything. Let them do. And then after that, when they grew up more, they be able to learn something more. We teach how to read, how to write. Because read and write our language is a tool, the most important tools in their life. Because it's a tool to looking for wisdom, looking for knowledge looking for what they want to know. So we don't need to teach them a lot, just teach language. When they can read, they can write, that means they have tools to find their knowledge or wisdom that they want to know. So we give them tools to find what they need, but we don't give what they need with no tools. That's very easy. That's why when our kids do homeschooling, we teach only language and math. That's all. The rest of it, they learn by themselves, mostly. Whatever they want to learn, they know how to look for it by themselves. So we have less work. Less work. They learn so fast. They learn a lot because they learn what they want to learn. And every knowledge, it relates to everything. When they're interested in one thing, it relates to another thing. So we don't need to worry about subjects. Every subject can be in one thing. Everything have every subject in that. Topics. So when we let the kids learn in this way, the kids have imagination. The kids feel confident in themselves. We feel like when we don't teach them, but they have freedom to search for, looking for knowledge that they want easily. That's the best way of education for us. So the main thing is We don't teach our kids, but we teach ourselves. This is the most important part of it. I taught myself a lot when I be with my children, my kids. For example, I will not lie to our kids if we don't want them to lie. If I have to go somewhere and I don't want my kid to go with me. I just explain them the reason why I have to go without him. So when we use reason all the time, they start to understand the reason. But if I lie to them like, oh, I will go this for a minute and come back. But actually I went for the whole day and come back. Doesn't mean I lie to them. Or sometimes I say that, oh, I will come back with some snack for you. But when I came back, I did not have any snack. That's lie. So if something like that happened, the kids will learn how to lie easily. Even we teach them, don't lie. Lying is not good. But they will lie. So the way I taught myself to not lie to children, to the kids, to other people around me. The kids that live with us don't lie. Because then think parents or adults did not do it, so they will not do it. That's very simple. So our kids never lie to us. Or we never use fear to control them. Many parents always control their kids with fear, 
like in Asian country, we always use ghost story. Don't go there. There's ghost in the trees, in the forest. Don't go to the river. The ghost under the water will grab your leg and pull you down. This is many Asian people did to children. So this is the way we control them with fear. And then the kid will grow up with the same idea, the same technique. They will use that fear to control other people too. And then they will lie too. So for us, we don't do that. We don't use fear to control our kid. We just explain to them directly, make it clear every time. So they learn easily. If we say, oh, don't drink Coke. It make you fat, make you have a health problem. So we not, but we drink Coke. They will not listen to us. They will try to drink Coke later. But if we don't drink Coke or Pepsi or soft drink like that, the kid will never drink it. We can see our kids now, many kids that grew up with us. Three, three of them, none of them have soft drink like this in the refrigerator. Even they are big now. They are big. They are 20 years already. But if you open their refrigerator, you can't see any soft drink like that. So this is what we learn that teaching without teaching is very important. But we don't teach the kid, but we teach ourselves. Whatever we want the kids to be, we have to teach ourselves to do, to be like that. That's very easy. And then from my experience, I, I learned so much from having a kid, from working with kids. I changed myself a lot because of kids, because of children. For me now, I feel like all the children are my teacher. I feel very grateful for all of them because they helped me to change myself to be a person that I wanted to be. And then they learn by themselves from what I'm doing. That's simple, easy. Kid is not a burden. Children is not a burden. Children is the most important part in our life. But do we know how to use the benefit of children? That is the question I think we need to think about it now.